Hello everyone. In this question, we are going to understand the cam profile if the follower moves with simple harmonic motion. So let's understand the question first. So here we have a cam with radius of 25 mm rotating clockwise at a uniform speed to be designed a roller follower. Your follower is of roller like this at the end of valve rod and motions are described here. The first motion is to raise the valve through 50 mm during 120 degree rotation of the cam means your s is 50 and theta naught means angle of rise and here we have a dwell for next 30 degree the follower will dwell and for the next 60 degree the follower will return to its original position and to keep the valve closed during the rest of the revolution, again we have a dwell for the 150 degree. The diameter of the roller is 20 mm. So diameter of the roller is given that is 20 mm. And diameter of cam shaft, diameter of the cam shaft is given 25 mm. And question states that you have to draw the profile of cam when the line of the stroke of the valve rod passes through the axis of the cam shaft. Means your roller axis passing through the cam shaft so this is a cam and this is a roller so the axes are passing through each other the displacement of the valve being raised and lowered it to be simple harmonic motion so this is the question of simple harmonic motion next asked about the determine the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration of the valve rod during rise and return of the follower when cam shaft rotates at 100 rpm means n is equal to 100. So let's start the question first. Initially we have to make a displacement diagram of the follower motion and for that you have to make a straight line of 36 centimeter like this and this 36 centimeter shows me 360 degree is equal to 36 centimeter. So this is a my scale factor. Now follower stroke in y axis like this this is a 50 mm so s this is a s and this is a 50 mm as per the question now complete the box like this divide the 360 degree line into angle of ascent dwell and descend so as per the question angle of ascent is 120 degree angle of dwell is 30 degree and angle of the return is 60 degree now how to divide it just give like this so this is a first angle this is an angle of rise 120 degree i am taking as a 12 centimeter in the same way i will take this 3 centimeter which is 30 degree and again 60 degree which is 6 centimeter so in this way i will dwell this 360 degree line into angle of ascent angle of dwell and angle of descent and rest is we have a again 150 degree which is again 12 and 15 centimeter now I will divide my angle of ascent and angle of descent into six equal parts like this. So you can see this, this first one division is two centimeter. This one division is two centimeter because it complete is the two, 12 centimeter. You have to convert it into six equal parts. So first division should be two. So every division should be two and this is equal divisions of two centimeter. In the same way angle of descent into six equal parts but in this case one division is one centimeter because it is a six centimeter in total. Now we know that this is a simple harmonic motion question and we have to make a semicircle of radius half of the cam lift or forward stroke like this on the left side. So this is a hemisphere and this is the center of that. Now again we divide this particular hemisphere into six equal parts like this. And we know that this complete is a 180, so one division should be 30 degree. Okay. Now from all the divisions, means this point, this point, and this point, and this point, and this point, make a straight and horizontal lines towards this side. So wherever these intersection line meets, we have to make that points like this. Now we will give the nomenclature to it. Now after giving namings to every point and six equal divisions, just make a curve of simple harmonic motion freehand like this. So you can see this 
from A to G, this is a when your follower is rising and G to H when your follower will dwell. Now from H to N, we have a return of the follower and further we have a dwell for the 150 degree. Okay, so this is a completion of displacement diagram. Now let's start the cam profile diagram. As per the question, the radius of the cam base circle is 25 mm. So first make a small circle of 25 mm. So this is a base circle. You have to make a prime circle of that and this is a prime circle. And to find out the radius of the prime circle, we have a simple formula that is 25 mm that is a radius of the base circle plus half of the red diameter of follower that is 25 plus diameter of the follower as per question is 20 mm so we have a 35 mm so now we are going to make an axis of that so these are the axis for the cam now we have to make a roller on the top of that like this this is our, our roller follower and these are the axes which is passing through the axis of the camshaft. Now divide the cam circle into angle of ascent, angle of dwell and angle of descent as per the displacement diagram. So we will start from here and make a line towards the center like this and again make a line. This is a 120 degree and this is a angle of ascent. Now we will divide this into 30 degree and this is a 60 degree angle of dwell and angle of descent. Now divide these angle of ascent and angle of descent into six equal divisions as per the displacement diagram like this. So you can see this first division is of 20 degree. Okay. In the same way, we divide this angle of descent into six equal parts. So one division should be is of 20 degree. So this is the way to divide the angle of ascent and angle of descent into six equal divisions. Now you can give the nomenclature to it. Now from the displacement diagram, we are going to measure these dimensions like 1 to B, 2 to C, 3 to D, 4 to E in the same way up to 5 to N. Now mark these distances on the cam profile diagram like this. So for the angle of ascent, so this is 1 to B, then 2 to C, then 3 to D in the same way other. Now in the same way for the angle of descent like this. After locating all the points, from every point as a center of the circle, make a circle equal to diameter of the roller follower like this. This is a 20 mm diameter because diameter of the roller is given which is 20 mm. In the same way from point C, make a circle of diameter 20 mm. In the same way from D, E, F, G, H. In the same way from H to N, make a circles like this. Okay, so these represents the movement of roller motion. Now, after making these circles, just join these circles by free hand like this. So you can see this. This is a curve is represents the cam profile and must be tangent to every roller follower impression. And you have to complete like this. So this is complete is a cam profile of this coaster. Now we will move towards the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during ascent and during descent. So for during ascent, we have a formulas and the formulas are So these are the formula for maximum velocity during ascent and this is the formula for maximum acceleration during ascent means during rise of the follower. Now just putting the values over here.
So as we know that n is given, n is here is 100 RPM as per the question. And just putting the value of n, we got. So before calculating the final velocity in acceleration, we have we have to convert our thetas into radians. So 120 is the angle. I will divide into pi by 180. It will be converted into, into radians. In the same way, acceleration 120 into pi by 180 is the whole square. It will be converted it into radius. So after making a calculation of it, our maximum velocity during rise is 0.39 meter per second. And acceleration is 6.13 meter per second square. This is for the during ascent. Now for the during descent, Now you can see this during descent the formulas are exactly same only the difference is we are taking the angle of return here. During descent we have to take angle of rise and during descent we have to take an angle of descent or when the follower coming back to his original position. So just putting the values here. Just after putting the values here, our solution would be, so this is the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during descent of the follower and this is the maximum acceleration and maximum velocity during rise of the follower. So this is the solution to this question when cam and follower is moving with simple harmonic motion. I hope you understand this question. Thank you everyone.